In this video, we're going to use dry ice to demonstrate sublimation. Now, sublimation is a really neat process because this is when a solid goes to the gas phase without melting first. So dry ice is not actually ice, right? Ice we think of H2O. But dry ice is actually solid carbon dioxide, which is the gas that we're breathing in the air right now. So when we have dry ice, that's solid carbon dioxide. And when we take it out of our container here, it goes to the gas phase. That process is called sublimation. And it makes for some really fun experiments that you can do with your students. So if you need help getting dry ice, just call me or email me and I'll get you help, help get you connected. So here's what our dry ice looks like. You can see the sublimation occurring. You just set it on the table there. You can see it's already subliming. And so I'm going to pour it piece into my water. And it's neat, right? Because it looks like it's boiling. I mean, you'd ask your students what's in there. And most students would say, oh, that's boiling. That's H2O. But that's not. It's not hot at all, right? In fact, it's quite cold. And so this is the process of sublimation. This solid piece of CO2 is subliming into CO2 gas. And that's what's coming out. So you can have some water in there if you want to stick some food color in. Oops, that'll uh, make it have a nice wow factor for around Halloween. So it sounds like it's boiling. It has that very classic sound that you're, you usually associate with boiling, but it's not boiling, right? This is not boiling at all. This is sublimation. This entire process involves no heat added to the system, right? This is just water. I mean, this is just uh, water in here, but what's in the bubbles is carbon dioxide. So that process is called sublimation.